Hey guys, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, I guess how my opinions changed a little bit about two-factor authentication, where before I was thinking, maybe a little innocently, that it's too much of a pain in the ass and it's not really worth it, because, well, if you've never been hacked, then you never really feel the pain of how much it would suck. So... It's easy to get kind of complacent and think that, oh, well, if you're relatively safe and you never download any malware to your computer, then how is someone going to get access to your account? But honestly, um, even if the odds aren't that high, it's a really easy way to improve your odds by having a second layer of security on your important accounts. So that would be things like your Google account. Um, anything financial, I mean, most banks actually force you to use two-factor authentication, and I'm sure that's for the best. But the, the only downside to having to use two-factor authentication is when you want to log in, uh, you have to take out your phone, and what you can actually do is check the little box that will say, like, oh, keep yourself logged in for 30 days, which should be fine, because that's only authenticating that one device for 30 days, so the only way someone could kind of exploit that is if they had physical access to your phone but most of these hacker types are going to obviously be coming from somewhere on the internet um, unless the person hacking is your little sister or something like that so keep that in mind but uh, really is it worth 10 or 15 seconds of your time when you log in occasionally to protect your account make it so that if a hacker really wanted to get access to your account, that they have to break in but twice, essentially. So once would be to steal your password or randomly guess it, um, which isn't actually that crazily hard to do, as I understand it. I mean, you see um, reports of accounts getting hacked, even big companies getting hacked all the time. Um, but then on top of that, they have to either intercept uh, basically the six-digit code if you're doing one of the code generation methods using Google Authenticator, LastPass Authenticator, or transact tools like that on your phone, which are apps, and or either intercept that or have physical access to your phone, um, both of which make it significantly harder than just getting access to your password with a keylogger or something like that. So it's, um, at least to me at the moment, it seems like a really obvious thing that um, I guess I myself and probably most people should have been taking a little bit more seriously because hackers are a real thing. Big companies get hacked all the time. So I don't mean to like lecture too much, but um, if you don't have like your Google accounts set up with two-factor authentication, you don't want people getting access to your emails, your Google Drive, uh, anything else associated with your Google account, which in many cases is a huge amount of information, uh, a huge amount of app tie-ins as well, because uh, you can actually log into many different platforms now using a Google account. So, uh, better safe than sorry. Um, hope you guys got something out of this. Uh, I guess I should be thanking Eli the Computer Guy for doing a video. Uh, mentioning how some of the, uh, the big YouTubers, much bigger than my channel, did get hacked over... Um, why well, I, I guess not having enough account security I don't really know the details but maybe they didn't have two factor authentication maybe that wouldn't have been a problem for them if they had enabled it in any case uh, I've been Chris thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my future video content